Hello and welcome to NFT Spotlight. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the projects in the Solana ecosystem na medyo heavy ako na naka-invest. So I hope this was a sponsored post, but unfortunately it's not good for everyone because I don't have any vested interest except for pump my bags. Just kidding. But anyways, we're going to be talking about this project. We're going to be talking about the art, the history, the theme behind, um, a little bit of, a, of my thoughts about the project. And as always, not financial advice. This is just going to be somewhat of a documentation of this project and what they plan to do. So let's go. First off, we're going to be talking about the team. Very important that we talk about the team because they are the true pilots of this project. And the team is the Thai Robotics team. Uh, this is a team that got into the space 2021. They derugged Thai Robotics. This was, or this is, in uh, stock market terms, a white knight takeover. So, merong mga dating uh, owners of the project who didn't really want to continue about, um, you know, continue the project. They just wanted to slowly rug or what. Actually, hindi nga slow rug eh. Basta they just rugged the project. And then here came uh, this guy, this team, uh, that bought the project from that team. And sila na yung mga bagong owners. And, ayan. Yan yung story nila basically. But, um, how I see it, the team are true believers in the space. They have been uh, helping people. They've been building tools so that the whole ecosystem would be a better place. So, not just Solana, but other chains as well. And these services na ginagawa nila is... Uh, what helps them generate revenues to sustain their business, of course. Uh, they have other Web2 businesses, but I'm not going to get into those. Do your own research na lang if you want. But ayun, they're known to be very generous to their holders. Um, if you were one of the uh, holders of this since Gen 1, ang daming naging airdrop nila, Gen 2. Uh, Tayo Pilots were also an airdrop. Later, we're going to be discussing that as well a little bit. Uh, and ayun, marami pa. Hindi lang NFTs, tokens, at kung ano pa. Ayan, so that's the team basically that's running it. Now, let's go a little bit into the history of this uh, and all the things that we know so far. Uh, they launched Tayo Pilots December of 2022. So ito yung kasagsagan ng uh, ano ba, FTX collapse. Or basta, yan yung bumagsak yung Solana tapos umabot siya ng mga 8, ganyan. And after that, tuloy-tuloy yung naging akyat ni Solana and hopefully magtuloy-tuloy pa siya hanggang ngayon, no? And ito yung naging chart niya. Uh, this minted in scrap. This was the previous token. Now it's GP. So this was a free mint. That's what the team says. They boast about it. Nawala silang nakuhang kahit isang sentimo. Pretty cool. And this was an, a free airdrop to oil holders. So again, kanina na-discuss ko. If you had oil, which is the NFT that you use to um, ano ba? Iba-burn mo yung oil na yon dun sa Gen 1 or Gen 2 mo so that your emissions for GP um, would increase by ilang percent. So, depende yun sa hawak mo. May 5 liters, may 10 liters, may 20 liters. So, depende sa binurn mo, yun yung magiging, ano, uh, hindi pala, uh, for burning, yun yung isang utility niya. Another utility for that is, eto, if you held it during the snapshot, meron kang free uh, airdrop nitong pilots. So when it minted, ito siya, mga $250, I think, or was it $200? Basta tu- naalala ko mga 20 sol, ganyan. And then, uh, tuloy-tuloy siyang umakyat as high as, I think, 50 solana. If you held a rebel, which is one of the factions in the Tayo ecosystem, uh, mas mababenta mo siya ng mas malaki. Parang mas malaki yung premium, basically. Hanggang ngayon, later, uh, i-discuss ko din yan. So, ayan, yan yung naging takbo niya and right now, it's sitting at $64. Uh, mga below 4 Solana. Mga around 3.5, ganyan. Anyways, let's talk about the art. Because uh, if you're a collector in the space, this is gonna matter to you. And not just that, if uh, you're planning to invest as well and art matters to you, uh, later, we're gonna be talking about all things investing. Uh, but for now, let's focus on the art muna. Now, if you're getting into the system, ang una, mo, ang una mong notice is that there are four factions here. Now, this is quite controversial because uh, dito sa apat na factions na to, iba't iba yung naging art style niya. That means, uh, iba-iba yung theme, iba-iba yung asset uh, classes or yung mga, ano ba? Yeah, the assets that are used. 
para dito sa mga factions na to. So imagine making uh, four projects in one just because of the art. Ganun siya ka complicated. Now, it's controversial kasi ganito yung naging itsura ng art niya. Alright? Magkaiba, right? The last two, medyo anime yung style, di ba? And the community didn't really like that. Na parang, bakit ganito yung itsura niya? Bakit ito mas cool? So, what happened was, the owners or the team decided na, sige, you know what? Uh, we're gonna have our design studio create something na mas maganda or mas magugustuhan ninyo. And because of that, uh, hindi nagiging final yung dalawang last natin na factions. Uh, and which caused quite a, f- um, a huge amount of FUD because, you know, like having an art na hindi mo gusto or hindi siya congruent sa isa't isa or hindi bagay, like it really caused some sort of division uh, within the community and ayun nga, nag-FUD. So, ayan. Uh, ito yung nagiging order natin for reveal. Mauning enforcers, rebels next, and then operators, and then resistance. So for now, yung operators and resistance natin, uh, we're getting the old art as of now. If you're planning to buy, and then you're planning to get an operator or resistance uh, na faction na pilot, uh, always keep in mind na hindi yan yung final na magiging art niya. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be better, way better than than the current ones. So ayan. Now, here's the unique thing about Tayo Pilots. If you do not like the art, they are going to give you a chance for you to customize your NFT. So, pretty cool, right? Because not a lot of NFT projects has this feature wherein if ayaw mo ng art, tapos halimbawa meron kang uh, may pagka-OC ka, di ba? Pwede mong palitan yung art. So, what happens is you open these boxes. Halimbawa, you have a Rebel uh, NFT. You, you stake your NFT to earn... Uh, chaos at yung points for rebel and once you get enough points you open the box with that and you pay a small amount of uh, minting fee either in GP or in Solana and sobrang liit lang nun guys okay magalala and once you get the assets that you like you can then customize that uh, to your NFT and then basically bina burn mo yung mga assets na yun dun sa NFT na yun, and that's gonna be how it's gonna look pretty cool right um, and so yeah, the final form. Ah, ito pala yung itsura ng marketplace. So, iba't ibang assets yan. Again, the background, the wheel, the base, the markings, expression, eyes, head, outfit. Lahat yan, pwede mong i-customize. So, pretty cool. And pwede mo rin ibenta yung mga assets na yan. So, I've seen in the marketplace, halimbawa yung mga crown, they sell it for 3 Solana. Some people have even bought 25 Solana just for an asset, guys. It's not even an NFT. I oh, well, it's an NFT, but it's just an asset NFT. Gosh, crazy. Especially if you're a collector, these are things that would matter to you. But anyways, ayun guys, ito yung isang example ng heavily customized na NFT. So, hindi ko alam kung uh, binili niya ba or let's say nag-open ba siya ng mga boxes. But these things you can do with your NFT in Tayo Pilot. So, that's gonna be your identity moving forward. Now, let's talk about the plants because this is very important. Uh, I'm also going to do alpha and some leaks for you guys. Now, this this NFT is going to be similar to Heist. I say similar because it's not the same. Some people are saying, okay, it's going to be the next Heist Ponzinomics na naman yan because Heist is somewhat like that. Um, and other NFT projects na, you know, like yung token na yun, wala talagang silbi. It's just um, a crazy Ponzi game. But here, um, the token that we're going to be using, GP, uh, for this NFT game. So basically, if you want to play the game, this is the mechanic. So meron kayong tinatawag na core. So cores are NFTs uh, or pilot cores. There's three kinds. There's the normal, there's the average, and the, there's the rare. Now, meron silang uh, iba't ibang function, which is this one. Uh, okay, important thing to know, the game is at the release anytime. So hopefully this August na siya. They, I was able to talk to Tom, the owner um, and the founder of this project. So, sabi niya, uh, on the back end, okay naman daw. It's just they wanted to change the UI para mas maganda tingnan. Because you don't really want to release something na medyo pucho-pucho lang, di ba? So, the release hopefully is going to be this August. If not, it's going to be September. So, sure na daw yan. Now, you will need to burn a pilot core. Yun yung sinabi ko. Yung pilot core, pwede mo siyang bilhin sa marketplace um in order to play 
So, yung function ng mga cores ito. For a normal core, yung pinakauna, uh, that's the eligibility to play the game. Now, this game, uh, up to you if you want to play it, up to you then if ayaw mo. But if I were you and then you have the asset and you want to earn GP, you know, just buy the core and then burn it and then I mean burn it to the pilot so that you can play the game so I wouldn't say um, completely passive yields uh, it's semi-passive kasi kailangan mong stake yon. tapos uh, wait for the duration of that to finish once matapos yung let's say yung lock stake basically it's kind of like that you lock stake your asset and then it's gonna by the end of it, you will see kung nag-earn ba siya o hindi nung GP. So I'm saying na may possibility na hindi because that's kind of like the mechanics in the game. Later, I'm gonna show you some screenshots para makita nyo or ano ba yung idea nito. Now, if you have an average core, you will be able to play the game and every time you play the game, half armor ka. So there's a instance na pwede kang mamatay sa game or yung NFT mo pwedeng mamatay or mag-fail. Um, especially pag natalo sila. Now, pag namatay yung NFT mo uh, or yung pilot mo during the game, here are the things that uh, pwedeng mangyari. Uh, you will have, I think, three days yung last na uh, na tinanong ko yung team. If after three days, hindi mo na-revive yung pilot mo for a certain amount of GP, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go to the graveyard or dun sa team wallet and then they can decide if they are going to be burning the pilot or uh, they can decide if they want to auction it off dun sa nilang service, which is the, I think, bid port. Um, yeah, so basically, they're going to auction it off in GP to uh, the players. And so, halimbawa, uh, you want to be buying it for um, a lesser amount, then pwede ganun. Pwede din raffle, pero hindi ko alam kung that's going to work. Or I think, I think that's down the line. But we'll see. We don't know yet. Kasi. And then lastly, we have the rare core. So ito yung sinasabi nila that if you have a rare core, ibig sabihin nun, full armor every game yung pilot mo. Sobrang imba daw niya. Alright? And meron kang monthly airdrop, which is a box, an asset. I don't know what's gonna be inside it. Probably uh, something that you can sell in the marketplace or something na pwede mong ilagay dun um, as part of your assets. So it's a rare asset daw. And pwede ding GP. Hindi ko alam. Uh, we'll see when that happens. So, ayun. Tama ba? Yeah. So, if you don't pay, namatay yung pilot mo. Um, yes. <laughs> GG. Next. So, ito yun. Ito itsura ng ating missions. So, that's basically the the game. Right? You stake uh, it onto a certain mission. Uh, certain missions, I think, may mga win percentage. Pero hindi ko alam how this is gonna work. Uh, what they want kasi is faction wars eh. uh, but the winning faction would be earning GP so the GP is gonna be um, it depends hindi ko alam kung gano kalaki yung magiging reward uh, they just said na ito yung magiging itsura niya alright next ayan so ito yung itsura guys pag namatay or napunta sa graveyard yung pilot ninyo so wag nyo nang hintayin na mapunta yun sa graveyard at mapunta sa team just buy GP to revive your pilot and then the next game pag nanalo kayo mas malaki yung magiging um, ano ba magiging panalo nyo pagka ganun yung gawin so you can also use GP uh, again that's the token ano ba tong GP na to later um, explain ko or I'll probably make a different video uh, for that but it's all connected into the Tayo ecosystem so don't worry guys uh, but basically ayan uh, if you wanna upgrade your armor for your pilot Kasi hindi lahat uh, merong average or may rare. Very limited lang kasi yung NFTs na yun eh, na pwede mong i-burn dun sa pilot mo. But anyways, ayan guys. If you wanna upgrade your pilot in-game, pwede. You're gonna be using GP to do that. So, uh, here's an alpha leak that uh, they have been teasing for a while now. Uh, one, of the e one of each unlocks a mystery. It's not really a mystery at the moment, but wala pa yung art. So, baka yun yung mystery, ano? Uh, diba, we have four factions. We have the operators, we have the rebels, we have the resistance, and the enforcers. Now, what we know is this. Coming from the man himself, the team, uh, or the uh, owner of this project, sabi niya, you're gonna needing four uh, pilots and a core to get an overlord. Now, this overlord will get attacks from all purchase in GP, like 
government 5%. So every revive, armor, open, upgrade, all that stuff, you're gonna get. So if you are familiar with heist, this is similar to having a gorilla. Now, this is interesting because we have currently around 12,500 uh, supply for pilots. Now, a lot of people have been saying na, oh, it's gonna be another um, NFT collection na naman, uh, inflation. So, dapat, you know, bababa usually yung uh, floor price pag ganun yung nangyari. But in this case, hindi because it's gonna be burning. Um, so, we're gonna be talking about ano yung magiging strategy ko and my outlook for this pilot game or this pilot NFT. Now, the current supply is 12,500. They are saying na for overlords or yung kailangan mag-burn ka ng apat na pilots, there's going to be 1,300 of this. Now, yung 1,000 na yun, yun yung pwede mong i-mint. Alright? So, burn pilots, mint one uh, overlord. Paano yung 300? Paano yung butal? Yung 300 na yan, um, I think you don't... Parang sa team na yata yun, what they're planning to do is... Um, either sell it or auction it. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but uh, basically that's what they plan to do. You 1,000 lang yung pang mint and burn. Ah, sorry, burn and mint. The rest, the 300, that's what they're gonna be using to raise money. And ito yung magiging projected supply after the burn, 9,800 na lang. So again, deflationary yung magiging collection. And what I think uh, would be the effect of this is magiging uh, overlords would be at least times three of the price or times four yeah right, between that area times two to times four of uh, a floor pilot tapos yung magiging um effect nito for the pilots is siguro at least ano um i wouldn't say double pero in the most let's say uh, conservative is 1.5 between 1.5 to double yung price pagka lumag uh, pagka nangyari na tong Overlord. So my strategy here is this because I'm part of the council. I see like um, alpha before things get released. Meron ako mga heads up eh. May mga ano din pala, may mga perks like uh, council presale. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, since mara konti lang kayo dun sa dun sa role na yon. To be able to get this pala, you need 25 pilots only. Actually, it's it's cheap at the moment. Madali lang pumasok sa council. But um, again. If you want to get these benefits, let's say merong ibang project jan, tapos meron silang pre-sale, uh, ayun, hindi kayo masyadong nag-aagawan kasi konti lang kayo dyan sa, ano, sa council. I think there's around 50 council members pero hindi lahat active eh. But anyways, ayan, uh, one of the perks of being a council member. Ayan, so as you can see here, this is, uh, this is actually one of the... Um, I would say, but a part of the boards. The tile boards is a board where you have all of these things that the team is working on. And right now it's at 88 percent. Malapit na lang matapos yung uh, buong game. Uh, which when that happens, yeah, pilots are gonna fly, cores are gonna fly, and pagka nagsimula yung burn ng overlords, the pilots are also gonna like may gas pa ulit para maket yun. So this is my strategy, accumulate pilots and cores before Overlords launch. So hopefully, uh, that's gonna be soon. Overlords, hindi ko alam kung it's gonna be a second season or what. Uh, they did say that there's gonna be a second season, which will include Generation 1 or probably Gen 2 uh, tie robotics. So probably you're gonna use your Gen 1 and your pilot to go on a mission and get bigger GP rewards. I don't know. We'll see. As of now, pure speculation pa lang siya. So, uh, this whole thing is gonna depend on the GP price. So, itong GP, um, nag-launch to, I think, mga 42 yata uh, yung kanyang IDO price. So, iba't ibang levels yan depending on the vesting period na kinuha mo. But, basically, everyone's uh, in the red. <laughs> so, lugi, if ever. Ako, pumasok din ako dito eh sa ano, sa... Um, yung mga nakuha ko na uh, anong tawag nito? tokens from scrap yung dating token I already para kumbaga kinonvert ko mali ko pala dapat ang ginawa ko binenta ko nila tapos nag buyback ako well hindsight is always 2020 but anyways ito siya currently guys around 0 0.04 that's the price that uh, where GP is at in or 
ano ba, para ko ba sabihin yan. But anyways, that's it. That's the price at the moment. Sobrang bagsak niya. And GP can be used in a lot of things. Uh, right now, we're using it for pre-sale allocations. We buy things at a very huge discount, especially for Tayo partners. So pag, pag may nag-launch na project using the Thai launchpad, um, what happens is that we pay uh, in GP. Tapos pay parang mga 10% or 20% discount. Depende. Uh, but it's really cheap. And so GP is going to be used in a lot of other uh, services that they have. They're going to be using this as a revenue share as well. So basically, you're going to stake your GP. And then yung mga na-earn nila from these services na... Uh, a part of that is gonna go to a revenue share protocol, uh, not revenue share wallet, wherein you stake GP and then you earn the revenue from that. So it's either in Sol or uh, it could be in USDC. So we don't know yet, but basically yun yung sinabi nila. Um, and in the game, you're gonna be using GP to upgrade. You're gonna be using GP to do all of these things. So and daming microtransactions that's gonna happen. You can also gamble your GP if you want in their upcoming games. But yeah, that's that's how it is. If GP is gonna go up, the whole Tayo collection is gonna go up, especially pilots. And for people who can't really afford a Generation 1 Tayo Robotic NFT or a Gen 2, um, it's really the pilots that's uh, the good. And for me, I really like where the price is at right now, especially for the NFT because sobrang lura niya para sa akin. If it were at 10, I would probably just do loans, but right now at 3, Sobrang mura niya para sa akin. It's around 60 to 70 in between that um, amount, 60 to 70 dollars, which is for a normal person, um, pwede na bumili ng isa, right? So, ayun. And there's gonna be only, what, 9,800 uh, ano supply ever. Um, they did hint na baka mamaya meron pang ibang uh, burning mechanism for pilot para magiging deflationary siya, which will raise the floor price but anyways let's not talk about that for now kasi mag-iipon pa ako and hopefully marami akong mag-iipon gusto ko mag uh, mint ng maraming overlords kasi I wanna be more of a um, as as many of you know gusto ko passive lang eh passive investor ayoko yung masyadong nagka-click or maraming ginagawa but you know like for me click click uh, how many hours or how many days uh, that's better than you know actively playing the game to me, much, much better yung mga ganito mga projects and I really like the team because as I've said, they're generous uh, when it comes to their holders. Uh, they give a lot of things. And so we guys are in safe hands. That's for sure. And so a lot of people would you would see in the space are fudding uh, tire robotics. They don't really know how these guys work. Uh, what I appreciate about the team is that they are pretty transparent and they also do not hide as much. They're pretty bad at marketing, unfortunately, but uh, that's what I like, as is. And so, guys, like this NFT, or not NFT pala, like this meme. Hold up and let him cook, guys. Wait, tiwala. There's this saying in the Discord, in Tom we trust. Pretty cool. Kasi, ayun nga, minsan bot na bot niya yung project eh. But anyways, here are the social media and links uh, that you're gonna be needing if you are ever gonna look into this project or buy into it, uh, that's, yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys the link to this presentation as well. The website is there, the Discord is there as well. Yung website pala nila when I check, it's not yet complete. Um, especially for the factions, I think hinihintay nila matapos yung art nung last two. But anyways, ayan yung mga magiging links. Other important links that you need to know, um, especially if you plan to invest, uh, you're gonna need to have a Binance account. If you don't Binance account, use our referral link over here so that you get um, trading rebates, If especially if you have a futures or mag, uh, spot. And you're gonna need a Phantom uh, wallet because if you don't have a Phantom wallet, how do you buy NFT, right? Well, there's also other wallets like Backpack and stuff like that, but I would recommend Phantom. Um, no affiliate link for this one. Next is the marketplace where you can buy the pilots. And dito na siya. Again, uh, you also need to buy a course, pilot course, in order to for you to play the game. Hindi ko siya nilagay dito, but hanapin yun lang sa Tensor. I recommend Tensor if ever you're gonna get into the uh, into this. Um, not really a Magic Eden fan, kasi well Tensor is just better. And lastly, siyempre ZFT community. If you do uh, plan in learning about NFTs or trading and investing, 
yeah, join our community. There's free. Just follow the instructions when you get there. And guys, lastly, we're not going to be staying a bear market forever. Uh, one thing that I learned as an investor in the space, rejoice because you get things at a lower price, especially if it's a really good find. Um, again, this is not financial advice, uh, but this is also your reminder to add to your bags. See you on the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.